Hello, my name is Michael Dwyer, and I'm with Rochester Writers. Once again, Rochester Writers and the Rochester Hills Public Library have teamed up to host the annual Rochester Author Fair, now in its fifth year. We're hosting 20 authors in person at the library in downtown Rochester on Saturday, November 25th, from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. These short videos offer you a chance to meet each of the 20 authors. And right now, we're meeting D.K. Marie. Hi, D.K., how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. Thanks for joining us. And this is your, uh, for your first time with the Rochester Author Fair. We're pleased to have you. Uh, you've got a couple books, a couple new books out this year. Um, how long have you been an author? Um, a published author, between five to 10 years. You know, when you start writing, it all blends together. Well, that's pretty good because I see a list of books. So you've uh, you've been busy um and two books out this year i'm looking at my other screen here stormy waters and making waves uh, makes it sound like this might take place uh on a beach somewhere is that correct uh it's it takes place in a michigan lakeside community because you know we've got what over a hundred thousand lakes here in michigan so it's one of those okay yeah it's close so um so all your books take place with a michigan location yes Yep, I've done small town and city. And they are romance novels. Mm -hmm, correct. And um, I, just a few years ago, I found out that there's different levels of romance novels. Could you give us a kind of a definition of where you're at with that, with your books? Um, well, the genre would be contemporary romance, because there's definitely a lot of uh, genres and subgenres in romance. So mine's contemporary, takes place now um current timeline and then you know they have the different levels of heat and romance too and minor steamy um anything else because like i said it, it's pretty broad with romance how specific you want to get so uh ideal age that someone could start reading uh definitely like 17 or 18 or above they're not young adult or new adult most of my characters are well out of college you know they They've been bruised and knocked around a little bit. I like those type of characters. So, yeah, imperfect characters so that people mm -hmm. can relate to the stories. And um, are they happy ending novels? Definitely. That's the main that was my main appeal to writing romance is, um, you know, life is tough and it's really nice for me and for my readers to go to um, a story, a place that's happily ever after, no matter how hard. I make it for my characters are difficult. They always get that happy ending. Well, that's nice. And I know that a lot of books, I mean, you, you know, it's headed in a positive direction toward the end, but you want to know how it gets there. That's what takes the, the reader on the roller coaster of a ride. Um, so perfect for people that want to uh, visit the relationship of mm -hmm. two people, um, as well as have a setting that they may be familiar with here in Michigan. Yep, definitely. Now, curious, what kind of uh, response do you get from people, readers outside of Michigan? Um, I mean, overall, it's positive because they really like that my characters are very realistic. They have relatable issues that happen to all of us in our everyday life. So they appreciate that my characters have real flaws um, have to deal with real issues that, you know, either we've all faced in our own lives. And um, like I said, I usually get very realistic and relatable is, is what they love outside of Michigan and in Michigan, along with the background. Wonderful. Well, I look forward to meeting you in person at the Rochester Author Fair. DK Marie, one of the 20 authors that's going to be there. Um, if your reading uh, interests are romance or Michigan-based stories, She's definitely a booth to come by on that Shop Small Saturday. Uh, we squeeze it in between Black Friday and Cyber Monday for uh, for some holiday shopping experiences. Anything you'd like to close with, DK? Not just that. I'm looking forward to the event, looking forward to meeting you, looking forward to meeting other authors and readers. Wonderful, wonderful. So thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you at the Author Fair on November 25th. Thank you.